Hello friends, welcome again to the world of Maths by Amin. In this learning session, we will discuss that 2017 DI, one of the best and the toughest. The direction of the DI chart is in front of you. I would say please pause the video and read the directions. I hope you have read the directions. So here, this DI came in that 2017, one of the best DI and this is not a calculative DI but analytical DI. The meaning of analytical DI is what we have to understand the chart and solve the questions. There is no calculation involved. The most important thing is how do we read this chart. First of all, we have to understand there are the three charts in this DI. That is one is the diagonal which is nothing but the histogram. Right hand side of the diagonal that is nothing but the correlation factors or the relative index. Left side of the diagonal is the scattered block. So first start with the diagonal that is nothing but the histogram. We have seven dimensions in the seven by seven matrix. The diagonal part of the dimension is always talks about nothing or talks about their individual scores. Like extraversion to extraversion, this is the total data about the extraversion. Same as the true arousal plaque versus true arousal plaque that is the individual data. So the diagonal data is all about the individual data. And the others are nothing but a relation. That is, if we talk about a scattered plot, that is a true arousal calf versus extraversion chart, in which the axis of the graph conventionally drawn means this one is the y axis, this one is the x axis. Now, we start to understand the chart with the histogram first. What do you mean by histogram? Histogram is the bar chart in which all the charts are closely packed. We have two histograms in front of us. One is the 1 to 5 range histogram, one could be a dot values histogram. But we have to understand three things. One is the mean, one is the median, and one is the mode. In the histogram, we cannot find the exact mean, median, and mode, be it the range value or the chart value. What we can find, we can find expected. Please note it down. We can find the expected mean, median and mode. Mode is the maximum frequency and this one is the mode 6 to 10. So we can say this one is nothing but the modal range. 6 to 10 is the modal range but we cannot find the exact mode because we do not have the data exactly. We have 35 frequency for the 6 to 10. We could have 6 more than the 9, 7 more than 8. So we can just find the expected mode or we can find the modal frequency or the modal range here this is nothing but the modal range or the frequency we can find the expected median and expected mode and even expected mean so this value the median is the 8 is nothing but the expected median 10 point mean 10.1 is nothing but expected mean not the exact mean since we do not have the exact data so i'm again repeating we can find the modal range we can find the expected value but not the exact one if we draw a bell curve we can say this one is the tip of the bell that is nothing but the mode and this side or we can say the right hand side the maximum data do we have the median is always close to the modal value so we could say if this one is our expected median then this would be expected mean and the median is nothing but when we divide the chart or the graph in two equal parts. We have approx 15, 35, approx 95 data in this one. If we have 95 data, so we can say our 47.5 data would be the median. 0.5 should be somewhere like this. So our median should be near to this chart. Or we can say our median is always closer to the mode and mean is little bit farther. And this one is termed as positive skewed. What do you mean by the positive skewed? Like this. If we draw, draw the bell curve say, this one is our bell curve. This one is mod. This one is median. This one is mean. And this is the positively skewed chart. So what we can find? We can find modal range, expected mean, expected median. But not the exact mean or median in the histogram. Please note it down the three points. What I am 
saying is expected mean, expected median, and the modal range or the mode, but not the exact value. Okay. You should also understand the graph. If you have mod and median, then mean is generally far from mod, and this one is known as negatively skewed graph. If you have mod, median, then mean. Again, mean is far from the mod. Median is always closer to mod. That is again a positively skewed graph. When the mean, median, and mod all three are the same in the bell curve, that means it's a normal and no skewed. Generally, we try to get percentile or the rank on the basis of the bell curve only. That's why we should know this is irrespective of the our question. But you should know we can find expected, not the exact. The next is the correlation value minus one and plus one. If the meaning of minus one or plus one both are the same, they are highly related. But minus one is the negatively related, means if one increase, another one decrease. Plus one is highly related in the positive side. If one increase, then another one is also increase. In layman terms, we can say it's inversely proportion. It is directly proportion in the layman terms, but not the exact mathematical meaning. What I am saying is, if we take the correlation factors mod, and if the mod is near to zero, they are the least related. Means there would be least change of the one according to other. If the model value or the mod of the relation is near to one, they are highly related to each other. So we have to understand if near to zero, the least related near to one is highly related, then we check the plus minus sign. Plus sign means one increase would affect the same increase, would affect the same change, that is the increase. If one increase would affect the negative sign or the inverse change, that is the negative change. So we have to understand this chart according to the value. So we can say the list is the 0 0.08 and the maximum is 0 0.94 in this chart. So we have discussed the histogram would give expected value. This one in the correlation, the mod of the value is important. Plus minus sign is just directly or inversely proportion. Then we have to discuss the scattered plot. The third is nothing but a scattered plot. Like this is the true arousal plaque and extroversions plot and you have seen the one line that is known as best fit line so we can say we do not have the great relation between the true true arousal plaque and extraversion because the few data are far from the best fit line if data is closer to best fit line then we can say they are closely related we can find a equation like here you can say the data is too far between the performance gap and the arousal pack from the best fit line. So we cannot find the equation or the relation exactly. But check here. This one is our best fit line and all dots are near to best fit line. So we can definitely find a relation between performance plaque and true arousal plaque. So this one, the scattered plot talks about can we get a equation or the best fit equation for the two points or the two dimensions or not so we have three things one is the histogram with the expected value i hope it is one is clear this one the relation with the modulus value closure to zero is least related closure to one is the highly related plus minus sign is directly or inversely proportional and the scattered plot gives the best relation i hope this one is clear now solve our four questions to start solving question, first of all, I want to say one thing. We are going to find the best answer, not the right answer. Since we have options, so we are going to find the best answers. Might be the best answer, but it's not the right answer. Which of the scatter plots shows the weakest relations? Which of the scatter plots shows the weakest relation? The relation is given by all these things. We know the weakest relation is this one. So our answer should be performance plaque and the performance cap. But if we find the performance plaque and performance cap, we are not getting any options. So we have to find the best answer. Now with the options, extraversion and the performance cap. Extraversions and the performance cap. Uh, performance cap is 0.16. This is 0.16. The relation. Okay. 
true arousal plaque and the arousal plaque that is the true arousal plaque and the arousal plaque this is a true arousal plaque and arousal plaque is like here true arousal plaque and performance true arousal plaque and performance is 0.61 a is the weakest relationship because this one is valued to closer to zero among all the five options but the right answer is performance plaque and performance cap but what I said, we have to find the best answer, not the right answers in this question. So question number one answer is A. Whenever you have to find a relationship, check the correlation factor. Question number two, which of the following is true? Now we have to check which of the following is true. And the question is in the mod, median and average of the mean. Mod, median, mean is by the histogram. Extra person has two mods, might be. This could be answer. Extra version has two mods. We are seeing these two are the case. This might be answer. I'm not saying this one is the answer. Median for arousal plaque is definitely the word is definitely, and we are looking for the histogram. So this could not be the answer. What we said we can find the expected, but not definitely. Word is definitely. Word is definitely. Word is definitely. So we cannot find anyone correct. So our answer is A, the best answer possible. Because we know for the mean median mode, we have to check the histogram and in the histogram, we find expected value, but not the exact value. So we can say for this chart only, I'm not saying the for the other chart, for this chart only, these four are not, these four are not the correct answer. So our answer is A again. Question number two answer is A. Now check the question number three. In which of the following is scattered plot? Again, which of the following? So we have to check one by one. The value of one dimension can be used to predict the value of other dimension accurately as possible. Again, it's not a definitely, it's as possible. So we can't find one versus another is always possible when they are close to best fit line. The option one, extra version and true arousal cap, extra version and true arousal cap. Ah, uh, they are too far, true arousal cap. So I'm saying no, this was not. We have the best fit line and the other data is too far. True arousal plaque and the arousal plaque. True arousal plaque and the arousal plaque, we have to say this one is very the arousal plaque. This one is arousal plaque and yeah, and true arousal. Yeah, they are very closely related. So this could be answered. I'm just taking one. I'm just taking B as one of the answer, but this is not the right answer. I don't know. I have to check all. We have to find the best possible. True arousal plaque, we have true arousal plaque is where this is a true arousal plaque, this is a true arousal plaque versus performance plaque, where is the performance plaque, true arousal plaque and the performance plaque is this one. Oh my god, this is again closely related. We can say few datas are far from the best fit line, here the almost all data is near to best fit line. So, we are eliminated A, we are eliminated B, we have C because we have the all the data is near to best fit line. True arousal plaque and the performance cap and the performance cap. No, can't be. This can't be answered because the data are too far from the best fit line. So our answer is C. To get our best relation, we find the data near to best fit line. This is the near to best fit line. So our answer of this question, question number third is option number C, two arousal plaque and the performance plaque, this data, because they are closely related to the best fit line or near to the best fit line. Now solve the last question. Which of the following options is correct? Again, we have to check one by one. 0.93, boss, 0.93 is here. 0.93 is between arousal cap and the two arousal cap. So we can say two arousal cap versus arousal cap is this one. We have again the arousal cap and two arousal cap is this one. Now what do we have is the right side of the diagonal corresponding to the third scatter plot in the fourth row. One, two, three, fourth. Fourth row, third, no. It's a fifth row, third scatter plot. So this one is the wrong option. What I am saying is we have 0.93 is between the true arousal cap and the arousal cap. Again, we have find the true arousal cap and the arousal cap cap that is the diagonal one distance diagonal one distance we can find this one is our diagonal this line is the one this line is just one distance or you can just find 
arousal calf and arousal calf arousal calf and two arousal calf this one but this one is the fifth row one two three four fifth row so this one is not the answer point nine four point nine four is the diagonal this one diagonal this one so we can say this one is one two three fourth fourth row second diagonal cause second scatter plot in the fourth row so this one is answer there's no need to check other values point nine four is the arousal plaque versus true arousal plaque this one is the arousal plaque versus true arousal plaque or we can say this one was just one diagonal up so we go one diagonal down the same distance in the matrix so we have 0.94 corresponding to this scatter plot this is a true arousal plaque versus arousal plaque or we can say the fourth row second scattered plot so this is our answer jack 2017 this is the best question of the di in which we do not need to do any calculation jack is famous to ask question on a different type of charts ready for all the charts if the chart is tough to analyze believe me that would be the easiest question you can do so read all the questions carefully and solve all the question okay but if still if you have any doubt feel free to ping me or rewind the video i hope this one is clear to you thanks and happy learning